Hello, today we will discuss the Cortex SDR Analytics Engine, which is a feature that enables Cortex SDR to analyze data from a variety of sensors to develop a baseline and raise analytic alerts when anomalies and malicious behaviors are detected. In particular, we will cover the prerequisites, setup, enabling the ver and verification of operation. So let's move forward. The first thing we will do is to meet an essential prerequisite for accuracy, which is to establish the internal networks you want to monitor with Cortex XDR. To do so, go to Assets, Network Configuration, and here you can add your IP ranges that you want to monitor to detect malicious activities against your organization's assets. After that, let's configure the internal domains. Here, you can add as many domains as you want. Now, we will enable Cortex Analytics Engine by clicking the gear icon, Settings, Configurations, Cortex XDR Analytics. Here we have also a prerequisite to have at least 30 endpoints over a minimum of two weeks or cloud audit logs over a minimum of five days. Otherwise, your enable button will be grayed out. Once enabled, it will take up to three hours for baselining to complete. Another feature we can enable is Windows DHCP log collection. Here we will use FileBit open source software to ingest the DHCP logs. We can give a descriptive name, and please notice that here we have two links in blue. One is the documentation and guidelines on how this log collection works, and the other one is a download example of the FileBit YAML file, which is the configuration file for the FileBit open source software. Once you click on Save and Generate Token, you should save your token for later pasting it into the FileBit YAML file, together with the URL where the FileBit will be sending the logs to, which will be our tenant. Collecting Windows DHCP logs, we will enrich our network logs with host names and MAC addresses to later on SQL searching on them at the DHCP SQL dataset. Once the analytics engine is active, you can also activate the identity analytics. This will improve the detection of suspicious user activity. To ensure that data is being processed and detection is taking place, you will need to navigate to the alerts table. For that, we click on incident, alerts table. Here in this column, the alert source field will show the analytic alerts. Here we will see that we already have it. You can also filter out selecting all the analytic alerts. And then if you don't find any analytic alerts here, you can feel free to open a tax support ticket with Palo Alto. I hope this has been informative and thanks for watching.